Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel. My name is Pixel and in today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at how we can remove the frame rate limit in the recently released MMO Lost Ark. Now before we get started there are a couple of things that we could do with mentioning. First of all, by default, Lost Ark has a built-in FPS limit that is supposed to match your primary monitor's refresh rate. Unfortunately, however, if you are running a multi-monitor setup and you're trying to play the game in borderless window mode, the game will end up limiting your frame rate to that of your lowest refresh rate monitor. If, let's say, you're trying to play the game on a monitor with a 144Hz refresh rate, but you are noticing the frame rate limit being set to, let's say, 60, then simply trying to make sure that you're running the game using the full screen option should increase the cap to 144 frames per second. Now, if you are running the game on a 60Hz monitor and you want to be able to uncap the frame rate in order to minimise latency, then you should be able to do so via your graphics card's drivers. For AMD graphics cards, you're going to want to go into your driver software and enable AMD enhancing, whereas for Nvidia graphics cards, you're going to want to go into your drivers and force disable vSync. I'd like to quickly say a big thank you to the YouTube channel Jansen Benchmarks for replying to my comments asking how he managed to unlock the frame rate for his test and letting me know so that I could pass that information on to all of you. Anyway, once this has been done, you should notice that you're no longer seeing your frame rate being limited in game. However, despite telling you how to do this, I don't actually recommend that most people do it. As is the case with most MMOs, performance in game is primarily dictated by CPU performance, and as we all know, being CPU limited is rarely ideal due to the huge amount of frame time variance it often causes, and Lost Ark is no exception. Whilst running the game on our Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 6800 XT graphics card, alongside the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X, using the maximum in-game settings at a 1440p resolution, we rarely, if ever, manage to fully saturate our GPU. As a result, we see constant stutters that get progressively worse the higher our average frame rate is, and honestly, it ends up feeling pretty awful. For that reason, I actually suggest that you manually cap your frame rate using either your graphics card's drivers or a third-party program such as Rivertuna Statistics Server, aka RTSS. Personally, due to the much lower input latency penalty and much better frame times, I do recommend RTSS. Generally speaking, if you're running a technology such as FreeSync or G-Sync, I'd recommend that you cap your frame rate below your monitor's maximum refresh rate. For instance, in this footage, I cap the FPS at 120 whilst playing on a 144Hz monitor with FreeSync enabled. This minimizes input latency and maximizes smoothness and overall is how I would personally choose to play the game. If you're running on a 60Hz monitor, however, I would suggest that you cap your frame rate at a number that is a multiple of your monitor's refresh rate. So, for example, at 120, 180, or 240 frames per second. This will ensure that you minimize judder, and when combined with AMD Enhanced Sync or NVIDIA Fast Sync, you should have a really solid experience. But anyway, that is how you remove the game's built in frame rate limits and how to enable your own. If you are new around here, then please do consider slapping that subscribe button and dinging that bell so you'll be notified of our future uploads. And if you've got any questions, suggestions, or feedback, you can let us know by leaving us a message down in the comment section below. And finally, if you've liked this video, then as always, be sure to like this video. With all that said, from myself and everybody here at the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel, I want to say a massive thank you for stopping by, and until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.